Hey, what's up guys? This is Matt, and today I'm going to be taking you through a tour of iOS 7. The uh, new beta just came out uh, a couple days ago, and I've had a couple days to uh, play around with it, and let's get started here with the review. So as you can see, this is the new iOS 7 home screen. Very nice. You get that nice animation uh, every time you uh, load up uh, your home screen and um, notification center is back and the newest thing here is control center so with control center you get access to all your toggles uh, your brightness uh, media controls airdrop and airplay a flashlight a clock calculator and photos and what's nice is you can access it in the OS at any time and anywhere so uh, it is pretty useful so in iOS 7 uh, Apple completely redid the whole user interface so all the icons, um, the apps themselves, they look completely brand new. Um, here's multitasking. Multitasking works amazingly on iOS 7. Um, fast, fluid, and I'm only running the beta and it's working like amazingly. So uh, definitely improvement for multitasking. Uh, notification center, there is like a new feature. You can go to, uh, to your today view to see um, your calendar events and your stock prices and stuff like that. Uh, you can see all your notifications and your missed ones, like your missed text messages or your missed phone calls. So uh, definitely pretty cool. And uh, what's neat is they updated uh, all the different uh, individual applications for uh, their new user interface. And it looks amazing. Uh, definitely very sleek. Uh, each one was updated. Um, you're not getting any new features or anything, but uh, definitely looks cooler, uh, just more uh, flat. Uh, here's the phone application, and what's cool about this is uh, when you press on uh, the numbers uh, of the button, uh, it actually displays whatever your wallpaper is as the background of the button. So uh, that's pretty neat, I thought, and uh, definitely makes your device more personal. And I think that's also the same for um, the lock screen. So if you have a passcode lock, uh, it'll actually uh, display your background, which is pretty neat. And um, yeah, so iOS 7, fantastic. Here's Mobile Safari. Mobile Safari got some pretty uh, neat updates. Uh, now it has a unified search field, so uh, that's definitely a huge improvement. And um, the keyboard on iOS 7 is amazing. Uh, I love it more than I did on the iOS 6 keyboard, so it definitely works a lot faster too, and it looks just slick. Mobile Safari got unlimited tabs as well, so that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, so uh, folders, folders, you can now have unlimited apps in uh, a folder, so you're no longer restricted uh, like you were before. So uh, now you can have unlimited games in your games folder, which is just awesome. And here's something pretty cool. Uh, when you are on the home screen or the lock screen, you can tilt the device back and forth, and actually the background is moving uh, with your uh, tilt and rotation so uh, you can see behind the text and it makes it look 3d kind of um, so you can see and this works on the home screen as well so you can kind of see behind the icons and uh, it just looks really neat so guys that was my quick review of iOS 7 uh, let me know what you guys think of iOS 7 do you guys have it have you guys uh, used it yet and are you guys excited leave a comment down below thanks so much for watching and hopefully I will be getting some new uh, iOS 7 betas out as they uh, roll out, eventually see some new features. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.